Hello children. Let us solve this pair of linear equations. Let's solve for x and y. And the method we are going to adopt now is the elimination method. Of course, any method can be used to do this uh, to solve this pair of equations. We can also use the substitution method or try to plot it graphically. But this is just an example to do uh, to go about how to do the elimination method. Now, looking at the equations, we uh, don't get scared that they are fractions. They can be easily manipulated. I look at the first equation in red. You have x by 2 and 2y by 3. So, the denominators are 2 and 3. So, in order to make it a common uh, denominator or in order to get rid of the denominators totally, we can just multiply throughout by 6. Each term each term of the sorry yeah each term of the equation can be multiplied by 6 so rewriting the equation in red we get uh, 2 into 3 is 6 so 3x plus 3 2 times is 6 so 2y into 2 would be 4y is equal to minus 6 so now look at it it's very easy it's a normal ax plus by is equal to uh, C form and the second equation in green we have a 3 in the denominator so multiply throughout by 3 uh, every term every term is to be multiplied by 3 to get rid of this 3 in the denominator so what do we get 3x right minus y 3 and 3 here gets cancelled minus y is equal to 9 so let's rewrite that also we get 3x minus y is equal to 9. Okay. Now, the elimination is very easy for you because already you have uh, an x term with same coefficients. You do not have to do any manipulation here like we did in our previous example. This is much more easier. So, you just have to subtract one from the other. Already, I uh, we have seen why we subtracted. We subtracted because 3x minus y is equal to 9. The equality sign is here. So, essentially, you are subtracting the same quantity from both sides. You may wonder that this sub during subtraction, like we are going to subtract 3x minus 3x, 4y minus y minus of minus y which becomes plus y and minus 6 minus 9. So, you may wonder that we are subtracting different quantities from both the LHS and the RHS. Like for example, if the equation is like this AX plus B is equal to C, we are permitted. Of course, the equality will remain true only if you subtract the same quantity from both sides. So, you may wonder that here we are subtracting different quantities, but remind yourself that this is an equation. The equality holds. So, this quantity 3x minus y on the left hand side is equal to 9 on the right hand side. So, subtracting by 3x minus y on the left and 9 on the right is not going to alter your equality in any way. So, let us go ahead doing it. So, what do we get now? 3x minus 3x is 0, right? You get 0. So, the x coefficient is eliminated totally. This is why we call it the elimination method. We have eliminated a coefficient totally. So, what was a two variable equation before has now become a single variable equation in y. So, 4y plus y is 5y minus 6 minus 9 becomes minus 15. So, solving for y. We have already solved for y. If you divide throughout by 5, you get y is equal to minus 15 by 3, which is equal to minus 5. Now, substituting for y is equal to minus 5 in any of these equations. You can substitute in any equation, this or this or this or this, all are the, I mean, as far as the substitution goes, wherever you substitute, you get the value of x. So, let us substitute in the 3x minus y is equal to 9. Substitute for y in 3x minus y is equal to 9. 
here we substitute pi is equal to minus 5. Alright, what do you get? 3x minus of minus 5 is equal to 9, which is 3x plus 5 is equal to 9 or 3x is equal to 9 minus 5, which is 4 or x gives you 4 by 3. So, your x value is your x value has been arrived at at 4 by 3 and your y value is minus 5 that is if you plot the graphs for these two equations you the, the both the lines the lines representing the equations would intersect at this coordinate 4 by 3 comma minus 5. Now do you want to check this do you want to check whether our answer is correct yes the verification can be done substitute x and y this is x and this is y. Substitute for x and y in any equation. Let us substitute in this one. Okay. In x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. I am just choosing an equation at random. So, we are substituting in that green equation. x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. Right. Am I right? Yeah. x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. What is x? x is 4 by 3 x is 4 by 3 minus y is minus 5 by 3. So, what is this equal to? This is equal to 4 by 3 plus 5 by 3. Since the denominators are the same, we can add the numerators. 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 by 3 which gives you 3 which is equal to the 3 which was mentioned in the equation already. So, we have verified our solution also. We have verified our solution and we have found it to be correct. I hope you followed. Thank you.